there. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lisa and I'm so glad that y'all are all here watching today. We're in my boys' bathroom and there's this storage closet or cabinet where I keep all of my sentimental afghans and blankets that grandmas, great grandmas, aunts, great aunts, um, dear precious friends have all made for us. And I am going to try these Target Room Essential storage bags that vacuum and compress. I'm hoping to reduce all of this down. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This It's just a quilt that I had on one of the boys' beds at one point. But I'm going to try to use these. I've got jumbo flat bags and extra large flat bags. And we're going to see if they work. I've never used these before. I hope they do. I hope they can reduce this down so I have at least some space to put uh, my decorative pillows and some other um, linen items that I access regularly. It may not work and it may end up just like this again, but we're going to try and see together. So again, I'm so glad you're here today. If you love cleaning motivation, cooking, decorating, shopping, all things like this video around the house, then be sure you hit that red subscribe bar and ring your bell. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family and join us here for the next video. Okay, let's see what these compression storage bags are made of. The extra large bags are 40 by 27 inches. And the jumbo bags are 48 by 35. And you load them up and then vacuum seal them with your vacuum hose. I brought my dryer sheets up here. I'm going to put dryer sheets in with it to keep it fresh for when I unseal them in the future. Why am I nervous? Why am I afraid that I'm going to undo this entire cabinet and this is not going to work? All right, I'm going to pull out everything first so we can assess the sizes. I forgot. I totally forgot I even had this feather pillow form. I thought this was a bed pillow. <laughs> Travel pillow. I'm running, I'm running out of room. It is very tight in here to be recording and sorting. Oh wow, that's huge. Let me be 
too big. mark there that says to so not fill it past that line with a zip lock Off. That's a piece of trash. Oh my goodness, I wonder if it's not going to work now. No, it vacuumed. It's still holding the vacuum. should have measured first because I'm not sure I'm not sure that's looking any better I don't know and then that tab broke off but that still seems to be vacuumed I forgot to put the dryer sheet in there I think the jumbo is very large unless you have like a comforter or something. I don't I think I don't think you need the jumbo. We'll see what the extra large looks like. Like I said, this is kind of an experiment and a review and hopefully it'll work. Maybe it won't. This will let you know not to waste your time and money or to run right to Target and get these bags.
So halfway between my white and my sleeve. now to my wrist so it's like half the size I definitely think squishing it as it's vacuuming helps to squeeze the air out of the, the material actually probably want those down there so I may switch those here in just a minute all right let's see what the extra large bags made of
What do you guys think? Honestly, I don't know that it bought me any more space. Once I put all my other stuff back in there, I could get bags for these. These two pillows for sure, because these are little travel pillows that don't get used very often. Um, and they could squeeze down and go in here. This I probably just need to get a cover for and actually put out and use or get rid of it if I'm not going to do that. I mean, I do have this little space empty, but it's because I got rid of I bumped my camera stand start, sorry. I got, I'm getting rid of this one, or my husband will probably keep it for a furniture moving blanket out in his work shed. But, so I mean, if I had that in there, it's, it's really no better. I don't think. <laughs> I'm just really good at Tetris, I guess, the way I had it in there before, because drop me a comment below and let me know what you think, if it's better more space, like better with more space, I guess. <laughs> Words are hard today. Or if it was just a wash. I'm happy with the way the bags performed. I think these would be great for storing old clothes. I know I kept all of my first son, my oldest son's baby clothes and stuff all the way until my younger son then decided he didn't want to wear uh, passed down clothes anymore and I just put them in totes which were big and bulky this would probably be a, be a better system for that maybe if I folded them different I don't know like I said let me know what you think worst case moths aren't gonna get to them and they're gonna be protected and they're not gonna all tumble out if I get one thing out, you know, like I can pull this and out. This, I can pull this in and out without it getting snagged and everything coming with it. So I'm gonna check on these here. I'll keep y'all updated if they start expanding. But yeah, thank you so much for being here today and joining me on this adventure to see if the Room Essential storage compression bags from Target actually worked. They performed well. The jury's still out on the, sa the space saving part of it, but I'm so thankful that you all were here and watching. If you are still with me, leave me a little vacuum down in the uh, comments. Leave me a little vacuum emoji and don't forget you can join me over on Instagram at Uniquely Lisa 2 That's Lisa with an E and the number two. I would love to have you as part of my social media family over there. If you enjoy this type of content as well as all things around the house, then don't forget to hit that red subscribe bar and ring your bell so you never miss a future upload. And the thumbs up is just down below as well, so be sure you click on that. I appreciate and adore each and every one of you. I hope that you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you on here again real soon.